Hey everyone, Sponge Murphy here. How is all getting on today? So another work in progress Wednesday video for you guys. Uh, over the last two weeks, I think it has been. I've been doing a lot of scav and stuff, uh, and that trend is currently continuing. I'm on a bit of a scaven buzz here lately, so I want to try and keep it up. Get as much of this, get as much scav and painted up as I can. You know, I've got a lot of it. So I'm um, kind of over the last two weeks, I've been painting this guy. You see my clan skyer, um, warlock. Um, or my engineer conversion um, I think the last video he was almost done I, think I just had to do the base but I think some of the last things that you wouldn't have seen uh, I put a bit of a gloss varnish on the warp stone part here if you can see just give it a little shiny effect which I think looks pretty nice uh, the banner is finished it's okay you know it took me a while to kind of get the colours right I had to keep changing everything but uh, it's pretty basic, I just have the clan or the horned rat symbol on this side it's nice and big so you can't miss it and then on this side you have the clan skyer um, this, these are the old clan skyer markings from uh, warmer fantasy, I don't know what the newer ones are but um, that one was a little bit too small, I wish I had done it a bit bigger I mean, the one on this side is much better but uh, it's not too bad, you know it's there got the base done uh, this guy comes on a shield already, he is on a high elf shield, which is blue and white, and if you see that little small piece there just below his foot, uh, it's like a part sticking out of the base, I think that's meant to be red on the actual shield, but I didn't want to have too much red, so I just left it as white, um, so it's okay. Put a little skull there just to break it up a little bit, you know, it's a pretty basic um, base, but it works, you know, so he's looking pretty good, I'm happy to have him finished and out of the way. Uh, another thing that I just had lying around here, just when I was looking through boxes and I found this odd piece, it was uh, a rat ogre, but he wasn't painted, so just on the spur of the moment, took him out, spread him, and put a few base coats on him. Uh, I put, what was it, Dark? Or it was kind of a, a very pale looking flesh colour. If I can find it here next to me quickly. I uh, can't find it here. But anyway, I put a. What did I put over it? It was the regular flesh shed over the skin. So it just bases out of it so I can focus properly. Um, and it really kind of brightened it up a little bit. You know, the base coat was very pale. Um, but it's okay. Then I just put two base colours on the red hair. And uh, I think it was a brown wash I put over it. So a lot of um, bases and just washes on this, you know, the fur, vermin brown fur, there's a lot of that to be tidied up. Um, so he's still in the very early stages. Just something on the spur of the moment to paint up. Um, yeah, so that's him done. Now you've seen the bases here, of course. Um, these are the bases for the Space Marines that I had done a few videos on a while ago. You know the Legion Marines from uh, the Petrella Cald. So they have been up on this little shelf here just above me for like way too long. Uh, they're almost finished, I think there's only one in that little pile that needs to be done and it needs to be done from scratch so um, and they're all their bases are blank so I just started just working on these really quickly again it's just a basic one, a bit of cork base colour is going to be dry brushed with grey over it then so uh, something nice and easy to nice and basic you know and easy just to get them onto the base and look a lot better than a plain base now other than that what I have, there's two things that I have to do for the next kind of two weeks or the next week apart from the rat over um, this one this is a the grey sir from the screaming bell kit um, now I had this guy before as part of my scaven zombies but he wasn't done up like a zombie he was like the grey sir leader um, and I never liked the base I had it here somewhere if I can show you again but I never liked it it was in here yeah it was on this cork base that doesn't really look like a rock you know I was never really happy with it but when I was looking up on Google Skaven conversions just to get some ideas um, because I don't have a Skaven assassin I have the Death Runners, I have the Night Runners, I don't have an actual assassin model yet so what I did was this was one picture of a guy one picture of this guy up done like this he had he cut off the arms and he replaced them with daggers actually his one he cut off the hands and he had the daggers for hands um, but I didn't really want through that so I cut off he had the staff and he had he was holding on to just another piece of metal here so I cut them off uh, stuck two ends of the knife here and I just put a fresh hand on that one 
um, and his pose is always awkward it's hard to get him up but on that model the guy had it up on like a pillar like this now this is just for show because I still have to strip this paint and paint him up like an assassin um, and remove a few parts as well you know he has a bell on the end of his tail you're never going to see a bell on an assassin uh, maybe cut a few bits off here and there but if you look at it from the right angle it looks like he's striking down off something he's jumping off you know he looks it's a really nice pose I think it suits this model perfect um, so that's going to be getting done over the next few weeks tomorrow I have to get some nail polish remover to strip the paint off so I'll be getting started on it hopefully by the weekend uh, and then the last thing now this is the one I've been working on for the last couple of days um, let me see I have, remember I got the two debt runners well, this is the first guy that I've been working on from the start he's nearly finished just have to do the base and you know he's pretty basic nothing too special just normal colours normal metal colours um, nothing really to make him stand out a whole lot he's a nice looking model paint job is decent so I'm um, you know just painted him to the normal one but this one I converted up big time um, I put the wings from first of all let's have a look I cut the top of the helmet off uh, I cut the armor off of his back I had to cut the tail to put this on so I don't know what way I'm going to put the tail yet um, but I have the wings glued on luckily once I was able to shape the back with a knife um, and to fit it on just right near enough perfect in there they are the, the wings from the Vargas and Crypt Ghouls Crypt Horrors set um, so you get plenty of wings left over in that um, the other thing I did was what is the deal cut off the knife in this hand that's what it was he had a knife here and I cut that off didn't want to give it to him just to make it look a little bit different again and then obviously I cut off the sword and I was going to have him like with a like a halberd or like a staff but when I was going through the bits I found this torch so I think it looks pretty awesome in the pictures I put up on Twitter and on Facebook and Instagram oh sorry uh, the torch was like longer it was kind of like up the hair a little bit so I cut that down and trimmed it and um, took a lot of glue and a lot of you know slicing little parts to make it look half decent move the lights around and make it a bit better but um, I'm really happy how it turned out now so, so all I have to do now is sort out the tail I don't know where to trim it a bit shorter um, or what I don't know yet or maybe kind of just cut it to give it a bit of a point and just leave it at that um, I can't put too much going up there I might try and shape a bit to come out to here you know I'll cut it here and then put it out a bit further I'm not sure yet but for now I'm really happy how he looks yeah, it's a pretty cool conversion and I have been working on a base room. I wanted them I wanted them to stand on something like pointing upwards at a bit of an angle. So what the balance would look like is on like a bit of a wooden uh, balcony with a piece of wood sticking up like this and I put a skull there just for sure, you know, just to break it up a bit. Um and then basically see I'm afraid to cut him off the base in case like anything falls off of you. So, so that's why I haven't glued this guy onto the base. So basically if I zoom back it's going to be like that no, I think it's a pretty epic stance or pre pretty epic basin look um, it actually suits this guy really well so maybe I might do something for this guy as well um, like this but for now it's going to be this guy he's going to be up there like that you know I think it'll look pretty epic so uh, yeah that's me being kept busy now for the next few days so I'll be getting once I have this tail sorted I'll be basing him and I'll be starting out the colours um, then I'll strip the grey sear finish off this red ogre and then as well get the bases for the space rings finished because I don't want to do some more of them I want to keep them going I don't want to leave it too long without doing something with them guys you know they're pretty nice looking you know I want to get them off that shelf to make space for other stuff. So uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you like the conversion, make sure to let me know. Uh, the Gracier idea. I must try and you know this isn't my idea. This kind of uh, conversion. Just want to make sure like you know that I just seen on uh, Google Images. So credit to your guy who did that. It was a pretty awesome idea. And uh, let me know what you guys think. Anyway, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe and comment. And I will see you guys next video. Thanks for watching.